<laughs> hello there, hello there, and uh, welcome to my kitchen here in Leicester for the first in my series of Father Martin's Guide to Hospitality. And our first subject is snipping grapes. Now, I don't know about you, but perhaps you've been at a party or an event with a buffet and you've fancied a few grapes on your plate. So you wander up to where the grapes are and you try to pull them off. They're usually in one big bunch. And as you try and pull them off, you know, they fall all over the place and they roll around and you just feel extremely embarrassed that you can't pull off any grapes. Well, isn't it nice when somebody's gone to the trouble of snipping the grapes into smaller bunches, somewhere between six and nine grapes in a bunch. You see, the key to hospitality is thinking, when I'm at this sort of event, how would I want to be treated? What would please my guests and make life easy for them? So snipping grapes, it's a key to bringing joy and happiness to your guests. So I just want to show you how to do this. To begin with, well, you take your uh, bunch of grapes and you lay them out on the plate in such a way that you are able to access the branch that goes through the middle, stem that goes through the middle, and be able to snip it off. But it is quite dangerous, so we need uh, some equipment for this. First of all, you have to uh, protect your eyes from the juice that might uh, suddenly squirt. And then some of those branches can be quite prickly, so um, covering your hands to avoid those prickles is useful and then get yourself a decent pair of snippers so that there is distance between you and your grapes and I have here my uh, handy pair of snippers for snipping grapes and then what you do is you decide where you're going to snip and you snip well isn't that terrific so um, very, very easy, and as you can see here, I have oop, snipped off a, uh, a nice little bunch of uh, grapes. Well, seriously, of course, thinking about your guests and what's good to them is an example of loving your neighbour as you love yourself. And of course, the grapes remind us of that story where Jesus says that he is the vine and we are the branches. And as branches, we are to bear fruit, particularly when we've been pruned of all the nasty stuff and the overgrowth that we've had. So as pruned branches, we can bear fruit in a way that makes it so much easier to love our neighbours because we're rooted in Jesus. So grapes are very important. So I hope that's been very useful to you. Um, what I want to do next week is a very simple uh, explanation of how to turn this into this. So do tune in again Father Martin's Guide to Hospitality. Thank you for watching.